Hello guys, welcome back. Today is July 1st and we are going to do our devotional. And today's devotional title is Social Media Snipers. Wow. If you know what a sniper, right? That is somebody who shot somebody else on a long distance with a weapon that is pretty much deadly. Um, well, today we're going to do, and we're going to talk, we're going to talk about the social media snipers. We're going to read Psalm 64, what the Bible has to say about it. Psalm 64. We're going to open our Bibles. Please open your Bible. It should be right next to you. In Psalm 64. It says, Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the, in from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they might shut in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shut at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter, they commune and lying snares prevail. They say, Who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every of one of them, and their heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they, sh they shall make their own tongue to fall upon them themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. How beautiful is this psalm that pretty much tell us from long time ago how David is talking about this type of media snipers, right? Um, we're going to read now from the story of the of the, our book. It says, In early 2019, a 16-year-old young man was doxxed after he and classmates were accused of racist behaviors while attending a rally in Washington, D.C. He and his family information was published online and there were written with the violence, job loss, and sabotage of his college prospect. It was later shown that the critics had misread the situation. Doxing is the hacking of publishing and publishing of victim, victims' personal information with the purpose of shamming and threatening them for beliefs or behaviors consider, considered unacceptable by the perpetrators. Doxing can result in health issues, family problems, identity theft, and physical violence. High-profile doxing cases have been even led to death. The psalmist David spoke about this kind of behaviors long ago. It says on Psalms 64.3, they sharpen their tongues like swords and, and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. This psalm clearly speaks against this kind of behavior. It is evil to hide behind a screen and to speak cruel words against someone. Words can have real life consequences. Social media bullying has no place in, in the life of, of a believer. Your online life should be as much as a reflection of Christ as your offline life. Before you post or reply, ask yourself, would Jesus say this? And with that being said, this is so important, guys. Think about it. Whatever you publish, whatever you post, whatever you see, whatever you read, and everything you allow yourself to see, read, and all those things through social media it's a, it will be a it will be a reflection somehow in your life 
it will affect your way of thinking the way of feel things the way of interpreting the life nowadays there's so many so many information online that you might be a little bit confusing but think about what like i said would jesus say oh would jesus say this or what about would jesus read these or would jesus post these see we have to think about all those little details it's not just post things or say things without thinking um sometimes you can say a joke or can you write write one thing one a thought in into um, media and people might not understand exactly how you feel with on the time that you written you are writing this this post but let ask these two questions in regards of this matter I want you to answer these two questions first question if someone knew you only through your social media what might they think of you that's clear question if someone knew you only through so only through your social media what might they think of you you can pause the video answer the questions under comments right don't forget to like the video and we can go in uh, we can go to the second question second question what does the psalmist say will happen to evil plotters what does the psalmist say will happen to evil plotters and i can give you a little hint it's on verse 7 and verse 8 of chapter 64 okay please guys think about um what the psalm 64 says and how you're going to interpret it you don't you don't have to go too deep on how interpret this this psalms but this is exactly what is going on right now we can be uh, the bullies or we can be the victims but one thing for sure is that is not uh, uh, shouldn't be any different between what we put on what we live online and how we live offline we should be the same type of person we cannot change it right because we are the same inside the church outside the church we are the same at school and we are the same at home we are the same in you know grandma's house or we are the same with the friend's house our principles have not changed or shouldn't be changing uh, according with the circumstances right and uh, pretty much that's our job that's our responsibility god bless you see you next time